Hello, my dear student. Today we are going to study the most difficult and the most interesting uh, declension is the third declension. Why it is very difficult? It is very difficult because uh, there are three genders in this declension and we don't have any common rules for determining uh, the gender of the nouns. For example, if in the first declension we have a air which uh, determine uh, that this is the first declension feminine. In masculine gender of the second declension, we have us e is the second declension, then um e it's neuter, then in the fourth declension, we have us us masculine gender, fifth declension, this is s a e, but in the third declension, we have all these, almost all these endings, but it, these words are not of the first declension, or the second, or the fourth, or the fifth declension. For example, sistema, we have the same ending as the feminine ending of the first declension, but according to dictionary form, this is systematis, neuter, is ending, uh, denotes that this is the third declension. Then corpus, is the us ending, we can determine that this is either the fourth declension or the second declension, but cor corporis, according to the dictionary form, this is neuter ending, is ending denotes us that this is the third declension, and pubes, as ending, we can confuse that this is the fifth declension, but nevertheless, according to dictionary form, this is pubis, feminine gender is ending shows us that this is the third declension. So, once again, I would like to pay your attention that all these dictionary forms are different according to the third declension and all these dictionary forms, the correct dictionary forms, you are supposed to study and to look in the dictionaries which is given in the uh, glossary on our site and besides, you have to learn them by heart in order not to confuse and to, to make the, all the tests correctly. Uh, the second point here I would like to pay your attention is that uh, the nouns of the third declension according to the uh, amount of syllables can be parasyllabic or imperisyllabic words. What does it mean? Uh, if we have basis, for example, and is ending feminine gender. If we have is ending after comma, it means that this is parasyllabic words. It means that in nominative case, it will have the same amount of syllables as in genitive case. For example, basis nominative, basis in genitive case. They are the same and the word is imperisyllabic if it has different amounts of syllables in nominative and genitive case. For example, cartilago, cartilaginis, feminine gender. This is nominative and genitive will be cartilaginis. Yes, yes. we have one, two, three, four syllables, one, two, three, four, five syllables. They are different, that's why these words is imperisyllabic. Uh, 